Every ride is a chance to be free. One thing I really love about cycling is that even if you and I are on the same road, we're on a different road. It is just uniquely, resolutely individual. You're out there by yourself, but you're just one element of everything that makes up the experience of the ride. Some people come to riding as a way to conquer. I think of the ride as a way to create. My work now, I kind of think of it as a, as a whisper, but you can't make out the words. And so it's a matter of walking in the direction of your urges without necessarily knowing where you're walking, without cognitively knowing how it all fits. I learned to ride really late, and I was probably like eight or nine years old. This is why I remember it so well. Uh, my father just let go of the bike on a downhill when I crashed. I just totally ate shit, and I loved it. And that's my first memory of cycling, which is just about the joy and the pain of it. At that moment, those just became intertwined for me. What happens between what we're out there on the bike experiencing and what we tell each other? When you're out on a group ride with someone and they do a big pull at the front and they're done and they swing off and they come by you and you say, nice pull. That's the experience and the expression is nice pull. But something there in between all that is what really matters. I love that space between what we experience on a bike and how I express it. We got an Athos into test at bicycling. It's a round tube bike that was made with the highest possible technical. Then I heard that they had a model that you could paint and you can really make it your own. And that is when I was like, well, I gotta get one of these. This bike is like everything I'm about on a ride. Joseph is a local artist. He lives in Easton. We really connected immediately over this idea that riding could be a creation. And he, he got all that. It's really about living in that space between experience and expression. So Joseph, here we go. This is the Athos. It's the jet fuel. We get to paint whatever we want on it. It's going to be absolutely unique. So any early thoughts on where you want to take it? You know, something I'm concerned and conscious of in, in, in my work is, you know, as you said, the space between things. In here, we have an actual space between elements, so to speak, and between compositional points. One thing I always think about bikes is it's mostly not there. Like you said, it's a big compositional space, right. but there's very little to it. It's like substantial, but not there. It's light, but it's strong. It's going to be a piece of art, but it's going to be used. Right. And it's going to get banged up. And so there's a lot going on. Cycling can just be about going to the grocery store or just going around the block. But cycling also is a way to get out and get in touch with these very important fundamental things to be alive, to be free. And art is also a way to access these very fundamental things about what it is to be alive. And that sounds ridiculous, I know. It feels weird to say it, but it actually is true and it happens. You don't have to think about it or care about it, but it's happening and it's happening out on the bike and it's happening in the art world. It just boils down to that idea of creation. And I think everyone who rides is creating a ride. When you go out, you're creating a ride. Often what you've created is an experience but I think you can also create an expression of that experience. You've mentioned to me before about how your life feeds your cycling and your cycling feeds your life. And I get this vision of a kinetic sculpture. The energy feeds the bike and the bike feeds you. It's gonna to add to the experience, all that sort of complexity. Or when I think of bikes, there's usually a real sense of design that goes into it traditionally. And I kind of want to stay away from that as more of a loose, you know, intuitive reaction to our conversation and the wells that I pull from personally. Given your aesthetic and what you do to bring that sort of hand-drawn element to this is going to be cool. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm really looking forward to diving in and, and seeing what happens.
I think a lot of the opportunity in my work does lie in the seams that are created. I use names and dates and words in conjunction with non-objective imagery. This friction creates a seam. In that seam lies opportunity. It's setting these things up so that there's a place to float. So a lot of what I do is sort of dancing around until I'm lucky enough to, uh, to have the gates open, so to speak, and then recognizing the opportunity in that occurrence and then walking through that door. Hey, what's up, Bill? See it. <laughs> How was it? What was the painting like? Uh, I was. It was different for sure. At first, it was like I kept trying to be like really clean because it was a bike. Yeah. And then at, at some point, I was like, You gotta do your thing. I was like, What am I doing? I just gotta treat it like a, you know, like a normal piece. Yeah. Um, like so a that's uh, yeah. So that's what I did, and uh, I hope you dig it, man. Oh, it's so cool. Oh uh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, all this stuff is great. Yeah, man, the conversation between you and, and the road and the bike and all the uh, mishaps along the way. We didn't have that phrase right away, but man, then we talked about that like... Yeah, that kind of came out after some back and forth, you know? This is like that classic nod to like stripes, bikes. And this is like, dude, that is it, man. I'm gonna be in the mouth of the wolf all the time on this bike. Boom, do that. <laughs> there it is. I was excited. It's a little out of my wheelhouse. I knew that Bill would respect what I value, you know, respect how I would go about it in a way that wouldn't cheapen it for me or him. And then on top of that, being hyper aware not to fall into the trappings of it becoming a design. Then that became a challenge of, okay, how can we use a bike frame and it still be a vessel to elsewhere? So the bike was really just the vehicle to be a kid. Now, as I ride, I'm, I'm hyper aware of it because it is so rare as adults that we get a chance to be free. I don't have any particular mantras. I just have this belief that when you're riding a bike, you're also living your life. And so if I have any mantra, it's just to sort of respect the multiplicity of what truth and beauty is when you're on a bike ride. 